My dream was to be like every other kid, including my grandkids, you know, a pro ball player. I wanted to be Phil Rizzuto. I was athletic, but never an athlete. School, I always did enough to get by. My mother, father thought I was crazy. We're giving up teaching career security to do what? What the hell? Ceramics, you know? And, and what are you going to do when you get out? I don't know. Be a potter. What the hell's that? You know? <laughs> it was pretty risky. I almost didn't get hired at, at South Carolina. After I had been made an assistant professor there, after three years, it just seems like there was a, uh, an uneasiness in my own self about relating to the faculty administration. But then I had a student who was doing graduate work at Georgia, and he came back and told me that there was going to be a position open because there was a fellow leaving. I tell him I'm really just concerned about, I love teaching and I just want to be in a place where I can make pots and get some respect for that. Perfect, just the kind of guy we're looking for. We think it was 82, we're unsure of when Michael and I started to have the sales together. He had had sales before and then uh, he asked me to be part of it. I took that tape, you know, like they do, and I taped off the trees and whatever around so they couldn't get close to the studio. So then at 9 o'clock we'd have to say, okay, go. And then there'd be this race. When, then when we announced the last sale, that was really, and it was great because we had the pots all up there and 9 o'clock, boom, by 5 in 5 minutes, Everything was gone. It would have been nice to take, take you along, or maybe I, I can't imagine my life without having you and the kids. Mm -hmm.